In this lecture we will discuss how relative coordinate system is important and how we can use them according to our need. First draw an object. The coordinates by default shown we call we call them as a global coordinate system. You can check from here. This is a global coordinate system. Now let us see what different kinds of relative relative coordinate system in HFSS. These are the different kinds of relative coordinate system. Seven different types of coordinate system. We can set the relative coordinate system by offsetting the origin. Similarly by rotation of axis, we can rotate axis from x axis to y axis, y axis to x axis. Similarly we can rotate axis and adjust on the face of an object on edges of an object let's see one by one for example i want to set this global coordinate system to this edge this will remain as a global but the relative coordinate will come here just go into this select offset origin and pick that point and click right click. Now you can see that here the relative coordinate has been set on edge of this. Similarly you can set this relative coordinate from on edge, any edge of an object or any other random place. Now for example I am I want to draw an object in the middle of this edge. So, so far that purpose this is y axis I will change it into a y axis. So I will select this object coordinate system by offset so it will move along y-axis but for first of all I will measure the length of this edge select this edge and measure this edge is 1.2 millimeter Point 0.6 millimeter will be the half of it This is the midpoint of this edge. Distance is 0 0.6 millimeter. So I have drawn relative coordinate on the middle of this edge. You can check from here. The relative coordinate system and this is object coordinate system. Coordinate. Now I want to adjust this coordinate system in the middle of face of this object. So first I will select the face and after that 
this is create phase coordinate system. First right click in the position where on the face you, are, you want to adjust your coordinate system and after that adjust the axis Press, but the axis which the mouse show which is x axis now I want to draw an x axis in this position and here it is From here you can see that the phase coordinate system, this show phase coordinate system. Now uh, I am going to want to draw in another object like a rectangle. If I want to change this axis x axis in this position of y, position of y axis and y axis position to position of x axis i will use the command the object coordinate system by rotation so first of all i will select the x axis position i want to draw an x axis position at this position right click and for a second here at y axis now you can see that the x and y axis position are alternate has been changed this was face coordinate axis and You can see that this was phase coordinate system and this was new object coordinate. From here you can select any coordinate system on which you want to work. For example, I want to draw object here. I will select this coordinate system and I will draw an object easily similarly i want to draw an object on this edge coordinate finally again you can select the global coordinate by just clicking on that if I want to rotate this coordinate just select an object Now you can see that these coordinates have been rotated. This is new coordinates which have been adjusted according to the R design. This is one position and second position and third position. Similarly, you can adjust your relative coordinate system or face coordinate system or object coordinate system according to your need. And this way you can conveniently you can draw any object further on another object or inside an object and outside an object or even in downside of object on any face or any edge or any vertex point of an object.